enable us to bring that back to life. Um, so Dr. Sayyid Hussein Nasr in his book, The Heart of Islam, states that God was a hidden treasure, then he created the world. It seems to imply that he did this for recognition. Wouldn't that be Rara? So, a very good question. Um, you know, Abu Huraira, as you probably know, um, and I think we're getting late now, aren't we? So, should we make this the last question? But uh, Abu Huraira, he says in an authentic tradition that I was given two wi'a of knowledge. I was given like two camel loads of knowledge. Um, one of them I exposed to you, and the other one, if I exposed to you, he said, you cut my throat. Um, that is an authentic tradition. What in the world does that mean? Um, we understand that to mean that the Prophet ﷺ, who did complete tablir of the message, who delivered this message authentically and totally, he delivered the message of Sharia, of the outward law of salvation, and he also delivered everything that pertains to haqiqah. And haqiqah is the structure of reality. And the structure of reality is something that only certain people can understand in this life. Um, Shaykh Hamza Yusuf is like my brother. You know, we have been together this close for 30 years. And we went through the same things, we had the same sheikhs. You know, I love Shaykh Hamza Yusuf. And again, he is like my full brother. And, um, you know, we talk about things a lot. Um, you know, one day we were in a restaurant, and in the restaurant there was a picture of a tree. And then it showed the roots of the tree. And so I asked him, I said, where is the head of the tree? And he said, the roots. And I said, true, it's the roots. You know, and then he said, if you cannot see the world upside down, you have no permission to go into the haqqaq. That's what he said. Shaykh Hamza is an amazing person. So because like you have to be able to see the tree upside down. The tree is in sajda. The plants are in sajda. You know, their reality is in the roots. You know, and in any case, haqqaq are the kind of things that in order to be able to understand them, you've got to be able to see things inside out. You've got to see things forward and backward. You've got to be able to see them upside down. Some people could do that easily. Some people, it's almost impossible. And this is not about salvation. In the end, all that counts is that I please my Lord and He forgives me, and I go to the garden with you. <laughs> Whether I understood the structure of reality or not is not essential to that. Okay, but nevertheless, we come to times in history, I believe like the present time, where in order to have certainty of faith, we have to also have some understanding of the structure of reality. So this second wi'a, according to our tradition, and all the muhaddithin believe that this is a true reality, it has in it many things that may not be in Bukhari and Muslim. And these are hadith that are transmitted in a different way because they are not transmitted by the muhaddithin in the standard hadith collections. So, for example, you have hadith about Sahib al Zaman. You have the, 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 the man of the time and about the abdal and about the aqtab and other things. And this goes back to the earliest period. And the muhaddithin like Bukhari and Muslim, they accept this. They don't believe it's wrong, even though it doesn't have a senate like the others have. And these hadith, like, Kuntu kenzen makhfiyan, fa ahbabtu an ba'af. So I loved that I be known. It was an act of love that I be known. Fa khalaqtu al khalq. Fa tawaddabtu ilayhim bin ni'am al kama qala. Uh, I forget exactly how the words go. Okay, so this is a hadith which we believe is from our blessed prophet, but it belongs to that we are. And uh, 
these are from Sudur of Nijab. They come from the hearts of people. Of the people who were given that by Ibn. And they are very profound. That hadith is absolutely profound. But it is about God creating as an act of love. Love to me and love to you. That he be known. And this is an explanation of everything in creation. And it is not God. It is bubble above bubble above bubble. But again, it belongs to that other we are. Then we have hadith, you know, like, Man taqarrabi ilayya shibran taqarrabtu ilayhi dhira'an wa man taqarrabi ilayhi dhira'an taqarrabtu ilayhi ba'an. A ba'an is like this, you know, and man atani yamshi atayku muharwala, and so forth. And then and my servant does not approach me by anything dearer to me than what I have made obligatory. And my servant does not continue to approach me by the voluntary things until I love him. Ah, love. Then I become the eye with which he sees, the ear with which he hears, the hand with which he grabs, the foot with which and he, he walks. And he does not ask me, but I give him. Well, then, أَذَلِ وَلِيًّا <coughs> and whoever offends one of my awliya, I have declared war against. So what we are at, does this belong in? It maybe is in that other one, but it got in the vahir. Because again, it's like one of them feeds into the other. They're not contradictory. And it's again, Allah, the Prophet gave us in the wi'ah that is there for everyone, things that open up to the other one. You know, so these are things, again, that we understand according to the sound aqidah. Very, very important, and they are the most beautiful treasures, you know, that the Prophet has given us. And they are about the secret of wilaya, the secret of sanctity, the secret of sainthood. And this is, we believe in the Ahl Sunnah Jara, we have to believe in that. But again, it's got to be sound, it's got to be in the Sharia. So um, this is a true hadith. Again, uh, if a person were here and said, it's not sahih, it has no sound, that we would have to say, that's for you, you can say that. Because of the fact that this belongs to the other wi'at, and that wi'at has its own rules, and it is not necessary or obligatory for any Muslim to believe that. And in fact, it is something that other Muslims often cannot understand. So we have many things that pertain to that wi'at, the Rijal al you know, the Ruhani Heen, and things like that. And these are things that are there, and it is a camel load. You know, and Abu Huraira had that, and we believe that Abu Bakr knew that, and Umar knew that, and Uthman, and Ali, and others. And we ask Allah to give us beneficial knowledge. Mm -hmm.